I'm always excited when I get to show a foreigner around during the summer on their winter escapes. Because he's like, hey, that trail's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, it is world class, isn't it? Coming off the plane, it's 30 yeah. degrees warmer here, which is a pleasant change. I decided to take him over to Table Mountain where there's some awesome fun riding, some good hops on the granite slate. It's definitely a place you don't want to crash. The trails are very different to anything else in Scotland. It's fast, it's rocky, and of course it's bone dry and dusty. After Table Mountain, we headed over to Signal Hill, which just has some amazing views. You can literally shred single track all the way down into a place called Burkhart. So to bring back memories because we did urban races there back in the day. I guess the thing that really strikes you as soon as you get there is it's just an incredible view. The different coloured houses with the mountains surrounding. On the second day, I took Scotty to Yonkersuk. This is an amazing riding spot in a huge, huge valley with an expansive network of trails. Riding through the bush was cool and then the drier, dustier stuff, it was just fast and flowy and it was just a lot of fun. Aldwick Trails is literally where I did my first downhill race. I have so much history. It's basically the biggest training ground I used to use for when I raced World Cups. Here was really those death grip turns. There were definitely a few times where Andrew hit me in the face with a lot of roost. Oh, I can't see anything! I've been honoured to help build and maintain a trail centre here, so it's open to the public. And recently, with my brother's help, John T, we've opened up our bike shop at the bottom of this very mountain. So it's really just amazing to see it all come together. 